Have you ever found yourself in this position? It's funny, boost is the one resource we have in Rocket League, and yet most players run around the field using it like this. Oh, I love using boost. I don't care where it goes, I just want to go fast and use all the boost I can. Wee! Boost, 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 oh, I'm on zero boost, I don't care, still gonna use it, still gonna go fast, here we go! Well, today that changes as we explore ways to train boost management in Rocket League. Now, we're gonna train some boost management across two games, and we're gonna kind of build the ideas on top of each other in each game. So for the first game, our only goal is to never reach zero boost. Doesn't matter if we win the game, lose the game, regardless of what happens, our only goal is to never reach zero boost. Then we're going to build on top of that in game two, but we'll discuss how we do that once we get there. Now again, the only goal is we're never going to reach zero boost, so we're going to really monitor how we're using it. And that is going to be what we try to do. Teammate can't get a block, unfortunately. I got a little bit too heavy of a touch. But that's alright. We'll bounce back. Try to get a little bit more control there. Just didn't quite work out. Good kick off there. Take the boost. Get it around him. Force this guy. Teammate should be back, no problem. Nice, that might just be a goal, actually, depending on the bounce. We'll try. We're gonna go back, let teammate take the corner. It's fine, I'm gonna shatter this. Get that across, no worries. Gonna take the mid boost here. Let teammate go first on this, we'll swing wide. Nice block. Popping around, close, good attempt. No worries, teammate, we were close on that one. Wait for the next touch. That did not bounce the way I thought it was going to, but we're fine. We can take control of this. We hit zero boost, that's tragic. But it's all right, we're gonna get boosted back up again. We didn't spend any time really looking for boost though, so it's all right, I'm okay with that. Try to double this one, good try. Secure the boost, boost it back up, very good. Teammate makes a great play. Shot, and it's in the net, let's go. Consistent offensive pressure, hit zero boost for a second there, but we're able to go ahead and pick up boost again right away. So it's not like a continued batch of zero boost, so it's really not the same thing. That was bad on my part. Teammate just gave up. For some reason I thought I had more space than I did. He was just on me. I think teammate could have made that save though, so maybe he just side flipped and it just looked like he was giving up. Probably shouldn't assume that he's just giving up. All good though. Wait to see what this guy does. It's fine. I'm just gonna force under him just to make sure he does something. We don't need to use any boost here, so we'll just take our time. Teammate has control of the ball. We'll wait to see what happens with this challenge. Get it around him. Bad shot. Teammate might be able to recover it, though. Teammate, nice. <laughs> a little bit awkward on the goal line. Should have had a better flick from me. It kind of worked out as a fake in some semblances of the word. We'll take it, though. If we score, we score. They fake the kickoff. It's fine. Take the boost. Can actually cut this. Preserve boost here. Teammate with a great catch. Good try. This is fine. We can just chill with this one. Light touch to control. 50. Just get out in front of him and make him awkward. Teammate. Sorry, teammate. Didn't mean to really steal that ball from you. Probably a little bit awkward on my part. That's my bad. He probably had a clear. And I just took the ball away from him unfortunate we're good though we're hanging in there we're not getting outplayed we're just kind of beating ourselves right now so need to make sure we stop that but we're not finding ourselves in awkward boost situations which is good oh that's just in the net well that's my bad 
That's really my bad. I just didn't even think about the fact that that could have been in the goal. Unfortunate. Teammate on. He might have a shot here. Oh, I'm gonna try. Had to get a bit of a weird angle on it. Make it awkward. Good attempt. Gonna fake this. Still on one boost. We're fine. Wanted to pass that back over to my teammate. It's past me. He can't double though, so we're fine. Is this boost gonna spawn? No, but teammate just scored, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if that boost is gonna spawn. Our teammate's scoring, so who cares? Nice shot, teammate. Right back in it. Only down one. Plenty of time. Lots of goals in this game. No one playing all that much defense when you think about it. I, that's just a good shot. Got the block, that's fine. Teammate should go first here. It's gonna play it out to the right side, allow teammate to follow it up. We get stolen boost. Or we get our boost stolen, rather. That's how you would say that sentence. It's gonna pressure him underneath him, it's fine. Take the boost back, teammate free ball. Get attempt. Try to get a block here, not quite, that might just be in our net. Yeah, I went for it to try to get a block, didn't quite work out. All good though. We're still dead even in shots, it doesn't feel like we're getting outplayed. We're just not quite landing our shots and plays as we might have wanted to. Teammate jump? He doesn't have boost. Back mid? He doesn't have control. And I side flipped. That's probably gonna do it or not. Kill one. Teammates, okay. I, I had was gonna offer to take control of that ball for him. It didn't quite work out. I don't have double here. We'll head out. Teammates caught. That's probably a goal. What? How did he hit that backwards? That is a great question. That I do not have an answer to. I don't quite know how he hit that backwards. We'll have this. It's fine. Pick up this boost. Maybe teammate gets one more for the road. Ah, it's gonna be down. Okay. It's all good though. Like we said, we're not really worried about winning or losing this games. We're just focused on making sure that we're staying boosted up throughout them. So definitely an unfortunate game one there in terms of actually winning the match, but now we're going to be moving on to game two, in which we'll be doing a pretty similar thing, trying to keep our boost as high as possible, as often as possible, trying to not reach zero if we can help it, while also working on pathing our small pads, meaning that we are not going to allow ourselves to go for the big boosts at all. So we're going to be focusing, keeping our boost super high, but also not allowing ourselves to get the big pads. So this will allow us to mix both small pad pathing and boost management all together. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So I'm going to be very stingy about how I use boost here. We might have given up a goal. I already took a big pad. Nice. Not really on purpose, but it's fine. We'll get used to it. Got a block here, that's fine. Good touch by teammate, we can pick up pads here. We'll go backboard then. Fours, teammate has block, very good. We'll take pads. Be forward for him, almost a great shot. Take another pad back here. Got the block, no problem. We'll leave the big boost. Teammate might have an open shot here. Not yet, maybe he can catch it. He can, nicely done. Force forward, just forcing, we'll bail out now. Trying to keep our boost up, pad here, a couple more pads. Easily get the save. We got the big boost, but that's fine. Remember, we're just focusing on trying to do our best with padding. If that means that we take a big boost, it's whatever. It's not really in the world if we take one big boost. I could have just shot that. That's pain. Lump him off, though. Teammate might be able to come in. He's flicked. It's in the net. That's unfortunate. 
I didn't really think he was going to be that far back. So I'm bumping this guy off, thinking my teammate might be able to come in, and he's just nowhere to be found. Unfortunate. We're good, though. Feels good, this game, so far. Got the block. Look for pads as we land here. Couple pads back in the play. Boom, we're already back. Doesn't matter, teammate's scoring. Nicely done. This is what this is going to force us to do. It's going to make it so that we don't take ourselves completely out of the play to go get a big boost. Because that's one of the big issues that a lot of players have is they'll see themselves on low boost. And instead of just staying around the play and picking up some small pads, they will just yeet themselves all the way back to their own half to pick up a big boost. And then they're just completely out of the play. You can pretty much do whatever you want just by getting the small pads teammates gonna jump teammates gonna have block we're gonna have touch to the side shot might be coming it's fine see if i can flip around this we can indeed let's go 3-1 lead nice good stuff saw that guy's wonky challenge coming in from the side use our flips to maintain speed get around the ball and we're good to go Keep it up. That's going to go to the corner. Caught in a bit of an awkward spot here. I should have saved that. Definitely my fault there. Should have saved that one. Had the lineup just kind of panicked on the backboard and flailed around at it. Not the best play we could have made, but it's all good. Go backboard here. Try to land on this. Very good. Can take some pads now. Nothing back here yet. Good block, teammate. He should stay on. Nice beat. Might be able to finish that. He can. Nicely done. We have definitely been the better team in this game. Teammate might get a dust there. Put a weak shot on. Pop it out then. Maybe teammate has a chance. Not quite. Try to get back. Teammate's not going to get back. It's just going to be in the net. Our defense leaves a lot to be desired, for sure. I think teammates on, like, zero boost heading back, so... Yeah, I don't really know where his boost went and why he was so starved all the way upfield, but, you know, it's fine. We'll make it work. Bang that downfield. He can have that boost. I'll just force this. Then take some pads. Teammate coming in. Good shot. Nicely done. Just force underneath him, make him know we're there. He's going to feel like he has to do something, so he does something and just gives the ball to my lovely teammate. Good block. Teammate coming forward. Teammate gets the shot. We're going to take these pads across. Turn on this one now. Bump him off. Teammate should be there. Very good. Pad here. Pad here. 50 that. It's going to roll around. Going to take our favorite line down the field here. Get some pads. I can't imagine how many times I've actually said the word pads in this video. But it's fine. I'm gonna jump here. Cool. Force him around. It's fine. Off the backboard. Teammate can force out for it. More pads. Teammate might score. What a touch. We got a two goal lead. Just gotta play it safe. Again, we'll just jump. Hover at it. Two seconds. Dang, I was really hoping I was going to get some kind of block there. That's fine, though. I'm going to cheat really softly. And they just didn't go for the ball. Sure. Yeah, why not? That's that's fine. I'll take that. But yeah, that kind of gives you guys an idea on how you can actually train boost management. It's a way to really get your mind actually thinking about it because so often... We just autopilot through everything that we do in this game, especially boost usage. We're over here just spamming our boost button as often as possible. And oftentimes it leads to us being stuck in awkward situations where we just simply can't get up to make a play on the ball because we don't have the boost to do so. I do hope you guys found this video helpful. Of course, if you did enjoy it, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below this video so you make sure you don't miss any future Rocket League content. 
Additionally, if you'd like to be more involved in this community, please consider joining my Discord link down in the description below. So thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later guys.